What you doing? You were in the middle of a math test? Then I did good, huh? Okay. Gotta go to the office real quick. New tonight, one local woman had no idea her husband was coming home early from serving overseas on his fourth tour, but we did. Watch News Talitha Vickers was there for this fantastic moment. I was holding my breath for this one because Staff Sergeant Michael Nardone set up a plan to surprise his wife at the very hospital where she works by posing as a trauma patient. Not your typical homecoming, but I tell you what, he set up this plan and pulled it off to perfection, leaving everyone in tears. U.S. Air Force Staff Sergeant Michael Nardone didn't waste a moment after stepping off an international flight from Germany, geared up for a surprise mission to catch his wife off guard on the job inside the ER at Holmes Regional Medical Center. Uh, the night before, I didn't really sleep because I was excited about coming home, so uh, of course, uh, just can't wait to see her. Up on a hospital bed and under the sheets, Sergeant Nardone waits for his wife, who's an ultrasound tech. They haven't seen each other for seven months, and she's got no idea that her husband's tour of duty ended earlier than expected. All she knows is that a patient is waiting for an emergency procedure. And like her husband, she's ready to serve. But then... Uh, I'm really happy. I'm really shocked. I wasn't expecting it at all. The tearful homecoming mission is complete, and the family, including their four year old Isabella and 22 month old William, will be reunited. What do you think the kids are going to say when they see you? They're, they're going to, well, that's going to be a whole nother. Whole nother thing because they're probably going to be asleep by the time we get home. But I'm usually not good at surprises, so I, I think this was a little bit better. So uh, everybody got involved, and uh, really, uh, thanks. Thank you, thank help. you all. Yes. Quite an embrace. Staff Sergeant Michael Nardone was not supposed to return home until August 20th. He has been deployed four times since getting married to his wife Leah in 2006, but he says this was hands down by far the best homecoming salute that he has ever been able to give his wife. Reporting from Brevard, Talitha Vickers, West 2 News. Job well done. Mission accomplished right there. Thanks. What's She's this?
Let me go to the office. Yes. Uh, Do you want to show Daddy where you sit and stuff? I'll be right back. Okay? Yeah. Mommy has to sign you up. Give it hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, I'm Airman First Class Nicholas Ream, and I just spent uh, seven months of my career in uh, Texas. Uh, I did my basic training out of Lackland Air Force Base, Texas, and then I did uh, six months out of Shepherd Air Force Base, Texas. Um, I've been gone from my family for six months. I haven't seen any of them or anything. And uh, I'm going to dinner right now to surprise all of them and they have no idea that I'm coming. So uh, let's go surprise them. We're good. Stop walking so fast. Sure, sure you're from. 
point behind you, but it's It's friggin' hot. Hey, it's hot here, John. It is pretty hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was a heartwarming reunion for a soldier and his wife when he flew in from overseas and surprised her at work. He's been deployed nine times during their marriage, and they had not seen each other in five months. Channel 7's Matt Johnson was in on the surprise, and he's live with more on how it all played out. Hi, Matt. Hi, Scott. Well, he went through extraordinary lengths to let his wife know that he's come home early. Now, it took a few weeks of some very secret planning, but in the end, it all paid off. Master Sergeant Mark Evans is sweating bullets in his wife's office building. He's more nervous here than when he's in Kuwait. I don't sweat this much in the field, even though it's 110 degrees and 100% humidity. Evans is home early, and he's about to surprise his wife, Suzanne. On the other side of the door, Suzanne's office is holding a fake press conference. She's just won a rigged drawing for her work at a charity event, and now she has to choose between a gift basket or... You can have this, or you can have that. Now he can finally stop sweating and hold his wife, whom he hasn't seen in five months. With everything that we've gone through, with all the deployments, this has been, this tops it all off. I mean, this tops it all. It really has. After nine deployments and 22 years of service, he's had plenty of goodbyes, but never a hello quite like this one. He reached out to his wife's office, and they took care of the rest. If I go upstairs, will you... Uh, take a picture of me surprising my wife. She's like, absolutely not. We're doing this. We're going the whole nine yards. He'll be at home for two days until he has to say goodbye once again. But now maybe he can help out with some of the work Suzanne was putting off until tomorrow. Well, I do have laundry to fold, so that I guess you can get back to work. <laughs> Now, once he leaves, Master Sergeant Evans won't see his wife again until the Super Bowl, but he has less than a year away from finally coming home for good. Hopefully. Back to you. <laughs> That's the way it works, isn't it? The, when you come home, the wife puts you to work. That's right. You know. Chad DeFrady's mother called me a month ago. We talked about the marriage proposal Chad wanted to do. His potential bride had no idea he was coming home or was preparing a most unique proposal. But first, we needed the help of a local sheriff. Chad DeFrady sat alongside Christian County Sheriff Bob Kinderman. The two were waiting for Jennifer Rogers to get off work. After she leaves the high school, we'll try to follow her to a safe location and pull a traffic stop. Before the traffic stop began, Chad DeFrady's admitted that he was nervous about his surprise trip home and his even bigger surprise wedding proposal that was just minutes away. I'm much more nervous about this than, you know, I've been shot at and murdered and yeah, it's, this is much more nerve-wracking. Jennifer Rogers' nerves must have been a little rattled as she talked to the sheriff. Inside the waiting police car, Chad DeFratis was also trying to calm down. Listen to my shaky voice. And then Chad DeFratis made his move. The soldier was armed with only a CD player that would play the couple's favorite song. <laughs> Any better. Woo! We couldn't have pulled it all off without the help of Sheriff Bob Kinderman. Thank you, Sheriff. Also thanks to Chief Photographer Kevin Huey. We had two cameras going on that shoot. I had one, but I could hardly focus through the tears. I think Don's yeah, the no, same way. Yeah, no kidding, Scott, man. That's really <laughs> I'm a emotional. I'm a little choked up as well. That was a great story.